So you're here, All right? Well, I'm not too worried about that. If that thing decides to go into melee range with the uh, with the tech marine, it'll quickly realize that that isn't the best idea for him because the tech marine is pretty decent in melee and has an has an additional melee attack compared to what he should have at at his level. So I'm not worried about him at all. Is what I'm trying to say. Almost. Maybe he'll decide to go to go for the Terminator instead, which would be equally hilarious. And I totally forgot about that guy over there. Uh, what do I have? I have a Psyker. I have a dude with with grenades, and I have another dude with grenades. All right, let's go. Up, let's go up here. Let's sort of get the Psyker in position so he can finish him off in melee at some point. Yes, but someone needs to throw grenades at that guy first, so probably someone needs to take out the cultist way beforehand. Apothecary! You still have AP? Get up here. You beautiful bastard. What the freaking shit? There's more. So much about that plan. Damn it. Why is suddenly coming more? Why did you get injured? I guess because you're standing right next to him it counts as a melee attack and because of this they fired back? Is that it? Is that what happened? We're using a ranged weapon though. Ugh, crap. So much about that plan. I mean, maybe he can go up the stairs, take the cultist out and still throw a grenade. But I still sort of need him to throw a grenade. What the sh- are you, are you serious? Ugh. Ah. Fuck that. Fucking cultist RNG. Sort of running out of options here. I have one guy left. Not sure if he'll be able to get up, throw a grenade, and all that. And we're sort of all standing in the way, so we can only get here. Might be enough, though. Well, it actually isn't. Ugh, crap. Can I take these guys out, by the way? Oh, that sort of hit your brother and yourself. Thanks. Was really not necessary. Let's try that again. Alright, at least that sort of worked out. Kinda. So... You're not gonna make it up the stairs in time, right? Even if nobody was standing in your way? No. You wouldn't. So I guess the Psyker has to go one on one against that guy that I don't really know what it is. I mean he might actually be able to pull it off. He's pretty decent these days. So I'm actually given the benefit of the doubt and will actually try it. He even has two attacks. Well, so much about this. Your initiative could be better, man. But aside from that, good. All right. Uh, I did scan, right? There are a bunch of guys in there. There's a flamer guy here, or one of the flamer guys. I have, I have multiples, I think. Well, he's, not, he's here, but not close enough. In that case, let's actually just stay where we are here. I would really like him to get the kill for that, because he really needs the experience, maybe the um, crooks out of it, so... Uh, 
Oh, is that actually safe? Well, this could go horribly wrong, but it should be safe. He should be far enough away so that the flamer doesn't doesn't reach him, even if he hits here accidentally. Oh, we'll see though. Alright, do you want to go up the stairs here? Yeah, why not? That's flooded with reinforcements. Buddies over there, though, and cover them from this angle. All right, all right. I think that was already everyone, right? Ooh, wait a sec. Now that we've dealt with the guy oh, with the guy on top here, you can actually just take a few steps closer to your next objective. Mm, you haven't done anything. Do you need to though? We could just stand here and guard. Should still have a shot at most of these positions here. Well, kinda. Depends on where they go. But I don't think he'll be much useful somewhere else, because if he moves closer, his angle changes so that he doesn't really see anything anymore. So I think he'll just be best here. Kinda. Well, then let's just keep you at Overwatch. You haven't moved though. And you're almost somewhere where you can actually do damage. Almost. So. Alrighty. I think that's it though. That should be it. Oh, you're shooting through, through both doors, okay. Sure. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Why you why I wanted him to, to to stay there. All right, crossfire. Yeah, move up, move down the stairs. Only a couple of friends have died there already. Should be completely safe by now. Okay, all the coaches from there are basically moving in to engage us here. Which is a shame because the flamer guys just arrived there. Uh, they don't want to give my flamer guys the, uh, the chance to prove themselves, do they? Good man. Was well, everybody holding up here? Well, you got shot at. But you already had some damage. <laughs> Luckily you didn't get more damage in. So let's actually use that med pack. And then you can kill that guy. Where'd the chaplain go? It was here. It's probably still somewhere around there. And the term we should deal with him. Depends on where he is. Uh, right. Oops, Psyker, Oops, Psyker, where is my opponent again? Please find him. He's back there. Alright. Thank you. That helped me reach a decision.
Yeah, Thunder Hammers hurt. I heard. <laughs> Alright, let's check if any of our Flamer guys can actually do something here. This stair is still accessible and there's a lot of cultists in there. So, do your freaking job. Don't mean to sound ungrateful, but so far they haven't really performed well. And now that guy is standing in the way, of course. Ugh, crap, people. Crap, people, crap, people. Mm, I think that Serpent's Breath Flamer has an AoE of 1, right? I guess we'll see if I hit that guy. Yes, AoE of 1 confirmed. I'll do it again. And that can actually be pretty effective. In case you were wondering. Uh, well, he's sort of standing in the way there, though. There's a lot of cultists who, pr who probably want some payback. Uh, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't entirely work. It's because there's this one guy standing here blocking the way that I can't really engage with him. I mean, I could have used a combat knife, but that's insane. Uh, shit. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Well, nothing I can do about that now, really. You can make a turkey shoot up back, back, back there, though. Alright. Oh, come on. Pfft. So much about the turkey shoot. It was a little bit embarrassing, man. Do you see something? It's that guy over there, right? Oh, that's the guy right next to you. Sorry? Mm, you could move over here, I guess. Should have a good shot at these guys from over there. Now, did I say good? Kinda. Ugh. But basically that's what I get from not bringing out my best guys, because some of the guys in the attack squad aren't the best shots. Well, I think I mentioned that already a couple of times, so no need to, no need to dawdle on that. It's just how it is. Seriously. Thank you. Well, you can't move up these stairs. So, yeah. But I guess you can do the Overwatch thing now here. Or maybe you should take his position now. Meanwhile, you can go here. We'll have the same problem here, you all need to go out of overwatch so you don't actually hit your buddy with a flamer. <clears throat> I could think about moving them out of the building, jumping up and then walking down again. That might actually be something that we can do. Especially with guys that haven't moved yet. Let's actually try that. So you probably need to run. That's quite a long way, for some reason. Maybe you want to go out of the way? So then you can jump in here. Move down the stairs.
Take out this ungrateful bastard. And provide him with someone else to shoot at. Didn't say it was a great job, but... So, maybe you can do the same. Not sure we need to be here in order to get a jump off in the first place. Because there's a lot of foliage. Foliage. That's probably still close to that tree. Oh, I can make that jump and not land downstairs again. Can. Well. Other than providing another target to shoot at, it can't really do much here. Not quite enough AP. Okay. Well, if he survives that, he has a couple of guys to shoot next turn, but... If he survives, that is. Since we cleared most of the building and most of the enemies, I think I can afford just to be a little bit greedy there. Some of my people re really need the experience. So we're talking about that. Is there anyone else who really needs experience before... You know, the professionals t t just take over and kill, every kill everything. We have a flamer. I'm not sure if we we'll actually reach a position where we'll actually be able to use it. We won't. Or maybe against this guy. Don't trust these 100%. Yeah. Alright. Well, the shots are looking pretty decent, so... Shoot. Seriously, 109%. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thought so too. Well, I guess there's no point in not emptying this mag. I don't think you really need the experience in Novarius, so I guess just go there. I mean, I, I mean, you could kill like two of them. All right. Since you asked nicely. So you don't see anything, but in order to see something, you would need to move, like, a lot. Four steps further. further. Maybe from here. Doubt it still have an angle from this spot, though. Not, well, kinda. Not from here anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what basically what I've been, been talking about earlier. Alright. Oh, you could have needed some experience, man. I might still get one shot at this. Mm, I don't trust you to not hit your brother there. Maybe from here. Well, it's a maybe. Well, okay. I should trust you more. Okay, okay, I get, I get it, I get it. I do got it. His armor is a little bit dented. 
but maybe you can get a good shot at this guy. I like professionals. Alright. Which one did you see, by the way? Oh, that one. Well, he's sort of... Well, he's. let's just say he's probably hot at this point. Alright. Next turn. Yeah, thanks for walking. Everything okay there? Good man. No, do your job, man. And again. Good. Good. There's one in this complex. And the stairs are not burning anymore. Alright, roger that. Move here. Won't be able to get more than one shot at uh, off, but if you direct your fire here, you should be able to hit, you should be able to hit both of them, which might not impress him as much, but in theory, you should be able to hit both of them there. Go a little bit out of the way. There's even more. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Can I get can I get some support there? Support. Too slow. Too slow. And you pro and, and you are the closest one already. Hmm. <laughs> could send him down or I could quicken someone and send that guy down. Let's give Zolarius a chance to prove himself. That he's willing to execute the will of the Emperor. And the Emperor wills you to go down there and shoot these guys. Heard it from him personally. Well, you might get sort of two. Good! So aside from that, we need to send someone down these stairs and uh, get the relic. Um, since the Psyker did a really good job this mission, I'm actually gonna give this to him. Just, just, um, so that you could, just for bragging, just for bragging rights, basically. So go down there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything else here. Were there some crates around there somewhere? I haven't seen anything around here, so let's actually just end this turn. There's a few cultists in the room here that will be killed by the flamer guy next turn. I'm not sure if anyone can reach that guy. I don't think it's worth it because we have to wait another turn nonetheless for uh, Psyker to pick up the stuff. We don't have actually have to pick up the stuff. What? But don't we have to pick up something from there? Oh, pretty sure we have to pick up something from the table here. Yeah? This is a second relic piece. Yes. Claudius didn't really <laughs> do anything. He got shot at, probably. <laughs> Zempronius, however, did qu get quite a number of kills in. Novarius, too. Tyrius also got a few kills with flame. Was he, wasn't he a flamethrower guy? No, I think he also had a hammer. No, he must have been the one with the flamethrower. Someone killed the horrors, though. 
Not sure how he did that. Anyway, was Carina on? I'm, I'm getting ir irritated here. I'm getting a little bit irritated here. Which was which? Got ranged and close combat weapon experience. So you couldn't have been one of the th well, Thunder of the Thunderhammer guys. Must have been the flamethrower guy. What, did he kill the horrors? Crazy. Uh, Carinius must have been the uh, sword cannon. Did an amazing job as always. Yes. Yes. Alright. But Hatsudos was already a Space Marine Mighty Hero. The reason that he's not on any squad is that his stats are pretty poor, but he's good enough, I guess. Alright. Craft has got a marksman on a purity seal. Killed 10 Chaos Cultists. I already had the Crook Seminars because he was part of Terminator Squad of the original Terminator Squad. Alright, alright, alright. I guess the Rarius was too, because he didn't get any upgrades and also no crooks. Lepidus wasn't though. The guy we got back. So he did a good job roasting some cultists with a flamethrower. I think. Alright, you didn't get a level. Valerius got a level. We And a crook stamina. Seriously? We got an apothecary where the freaking crooks do with it. Not even the librarian has one. Crazy. Crazy man. But I, I sort of tried to give him some experience by, by, by killing cultists, so... I think I can blame this on that. And his ballistic skills are actually pretty decent now. It's really decent. Anyway, good. So much about that. Make course for Darien. Yay! Apparently we're gonna be taking out the um, other outpost that was mentioned in the last mission briefing uh, somewhere in the next episode, or maybe there'll be more random encounters that we have to do before that. I don't know yet, but we'll see that next time. Have a good one.